Now, for our example problem, let's say that we have a drug that's a weak base with a pKa of 6.4. We've measured its concentration in the plasma to be 11 nanomolar, and the plasma pH is 7.4. We want to know how much drug is present in the urine, which we have measured to have a pH of 5.4. We're going to ask the question, is ion trapping happening? We know that ion trapping can go on here because we have many layers of membrane in the bladder epithelium, and this separates two fluid compartments of different pH. Our drug is a weak base, so remember that its unionized form can accept a hydrogen ion becoming positively charged, that is, BH+. Only the uncharged form can go back and forth across the bladder epithelium, and this movement is simple diffusion. So equilibrium dictates that the uncharged form exists at the same concentration on both sides of the membrane. In the plasma, the pH is 7.4, which is higher than the pKa of the drug. So what this means is that as basic substances in the plasma remove hydrogen ions from the solution, in order to maintain the equilibrium, the ionized drug, BH+, is going to have to dissociate to release hydrogen ions, and uncharged base. So the equilibrium gets shifted toward dissociation of the weak base, and this will release more drug in its unionized form. The opposite thing is happening in the urine. Here, the pH is more acidic than the pKa. And so we have extra hydrogen ions, and these bind to the free base molecules that are floating around, and they shift the equilibrium toward production of the ionized form of the drug, BH+. Okay, so our first step in solving the problem is to calculate the concentration of unionized drug in the compartment where we know its total concentration. In our example, we know the total drug concentration in the plasma. So we know that in the plasma there's 11 nanomolar of drug. This is the ionized plus unionized drug. The measurement doesn't differentiate between ionized and unionized. It's total drug. Now here's the Henderson-Hasselbach equation for a base. Let's plug in the pH and the pKa, and now we'll subtract them, and this is minus 1. Next, we'll take the antilog of both sides of the equation. That is, we do 10 to the power of the things on both sides of the equation. 10 raised to the power of 1 is 10, and 10 raised to the power of B over BH plus is B over BH plus. So now we see that B over BH plus is equal to 10. We can rearrange this equation to say that 10 times BH plus is equal to B, or BH plus is equal to 0 0.1 times B. Any way you say it, what it means is there's 10 times more unionized drug, that is B, then there is ionized drug, that is BH+. So here's the equilibrium again. This is what we'd expect for a weak base in a situation where the pH is more basic than the pKa. The basic solution removes H+, and so the equilibrium gets shifted toward dissociation of the BH+, to produce more H+, and B. Now let's solve to get the exact concentration for unionized B. We already know the total drug concentration is 11 nanomolar. This is B plus BH plus. So we are going to plug in BH plus, which we know to be 0 0.1 times B. Now we can solve for the exact concentration of B. So B plus 0 0.1B equals 11 nanomolar. And so 1.1B equals 11. So dividing both sides by 1.1, we find that B must be 10 nanomolar. So now we know the concentration of unionized drug in the plasma, and because it is the unionized drug that diffuses across the membranes of the bladder epithelium, we know that the concentration of unionized drug, that is B, in the urine has to be equal to the concentration of unionized drug in the plasma. So knowing this, and knowing that the total drug in the urine is equal to the concentration of ionized plus unionized drug, we can plug back into the Henderson-Hasselbach equation to determine what the concentration of BH plus is in the urine. Okay, so here's our equation again. We plug in our pH in the urine, which is 5.4, 
and our pKa of 6.4, and we do the subtraction, and we see that minus 1 is equal to log b over bH+. Plus. Now we take the anti-log of both sides of the equation, and voila! 0.1 equals b over bH+. Plus. And rearranging, we see that bH plus is 10 times b. This is just what you would expect in an acidic environment. The weak base binds up all of that extra H plus and becomes charged. So now let's add up the total drug in the urine, that is B plus BH plus. This is 10 nanomolar plus 10 times 10 nanomolar, so our total is 110 nanomolar. Remember that the total drug that we measured in the plasma was 11 nanomolar, and now in the urine it's 110 nanomolar. So we can say that this drug has undergone ion trapping in the urine. So again, the plasma concentration is 11 nanomolar, and in the urine it's 10 times higher. So ion trapping has occurred.